Hi everyone, Kyle here from Wide Awake PH. In today's review, we'll be talking about the Easy Presso ZP6 Special. I ordered the ZP6 Special through Easy Presso's website. Um, I paid using my credit card, and the price was, if I remember correctly, 199 US dollars with free shipping. Um, delivery was super fast. So one Z Pre uh, Easy Presso used DHL Express to ship it to me and the package came from Taiwan and I received it in just three days. So three days, very fast shipping considering it came from Taiwan to Manila. Okay, so now let's open the black cardboard box. Inside the black cardboard box, we're greeted with a pretty nice carrying case. So let's move this to the side. So the inclusion of a free carrying case with the grinder is awesome. I think it's really great value. And it's not just an ordinary like cheap or flimsy carrying case. It actually has some nice security to it. Um, I think this is also a pretty nifty compartment. Maybe you can bring beans here too. And it's awesome because like it comes with a pretty nice quality brush for cleaning the grinder. And the handle can be secured using this, this compartment as well. So yeah, that's the unboxing experience. I've been using the ZP6 Special every day for the past two months. And for starters, let's talk about the build quality. I think this is a great step up in terms of build compared to the previous Easy Presso grinder we reviewed before, the JX Pro. So, of course, coming from Easy Presso, it shares a lot of a lot of their signature design cues, such as this aluminum body, uh, silicone sleeve, a large wooden knob. But the ZP6 Special has some Notable improvements over the JX Pro, such as the sleeve. So this, this sleeve is a really nice textured rubber and it doesn't slide around or move around like the sleeve found in the JX Pro. And in addition to that, the grind size adjustment mechanism is a lot bigger and very easy to use. And it's really easy to find the proper grind size because the, the grind size display or the grind size indicator is super large. So me, I need glasses, but even without glasses, the font is extremely legible. So dialing in should be really easy. When it comes to grinding coffee on a day-to-day -day basis, the ZP6 Special um, has a relatively low force output ne necessary in order to turn. So that's really nice. But the drawback there is I find my usual 13 gram dose a little bit, it takes a little bit longer to grind that 13 gram dose compared to the other grinders we've reviewed. So on average, I take around 45 seconds to one minute to grind 13 grams, as opposed to around 25 to 35 seconds with the JX Pro or the Kinu M47. So, you know, it's a little bit of a drawback, but not so much for it to be like really annoying day to day. So now let's go to the moment or the part of the review that we're all waiting for, and that's grind quality. So right off the bat, I can say I'm very impressed with the kind of filter coffee that I'm getting for, from this grinder. So what's unique about the ZP6 Special is that it's a filter coffee optimized hand grinder. So what we typically see in the market are hand grinders that try to do both pretty well, right? Both espresso and filter coffee but as we've come to see and as coffee brands have come to discover espresso coffee and filter coffee have different needs when it comes to uh, grind size particle distribution and what the zp6 special tries to do is have more of a unimodal kind of grind distribution that's better suited to filter coffee as a result, the brews I've been getting from this 
would or could be described as clean, crisp, transparent. Like, that's the kind of character that I'm getting from the ZP6 Special. So let's sort of break down these three adjectives that I use to describe the grind character of the ZP6 Special. First with cleanliness, right? Clean. So what do I mean by that? Well, with the other grinders I've tried before that try to do both filter and espresso, now when I go back to these grinders, I can clearly taste a distinctive kind of bitterness and cloudiness in the cup as compared to this thing. So, you know, if I do like A-B A -B testing or just brewing for fun, um, I find the grinders to try to be versatile. Again, have that kind of bitterness to them, a little bit of cloudiness to the cup. Whereas this, um, we remove the bitterness and we add a more rounded, more gentle body. So because the bitterness has been removed, the focus or the emphasis goes towards the acidity or the distinctive flavor notes of the coffee that we're trying to brew or we're trying to taste. The second adjective I used is crisp. So when I say crisp, what I mean is the acidity of the coffee becomes much more nuanced such that there is a higher amount of flavor separation and therefore you can much more easily pick apart these flavor notes and distinguish them from one another which if you're you know, a coffee enthusiast like me then it makes brewing coffees that much more fun so overall the grinder is transparent so again what i mean with transparent is because of what i mentioned that the bitterness falls off the flavor perception goes towards acidity versus you know body texture sweetness what we have is a very transparent coffee experience that allows the grinder to highlight the unique flavor notes found in high quality single origin coffees. So for this next part, I'll talk about some of the kind of little details of the ZP6 special that I find pretty cool. So for one, it's that I love the use of wood on the knob. So if you notice the wooden knob is a little bit more shiny than what you see in the stock photos or what you see in the Easy Presso website. And that's because with regular continuous use, the wood will absorb the oils that, that's in your hands. So over time, it, it acquires this sort of nice gloss, this nice sheen that further highlights the unique grain of the wood. And I think that's a really nice touch and I really, really enjoy it. The next part I want to emphasize that's really enjoyable to use is the grind size select selector. Like, it's such a breeze to use. I can't emphasize enough. Like, if you're coming, if you're coming from the Kinu M47 Classic or a grinder that has you like to, you know, fiddle around with a knob with a click system, this is night and day. Like, extremely more convenient because all you gotta do is look at it judge where the red dot is and really just slide it around and the tactility is amazing you can really tell when once you've actuated it and once you've done a click it's it's very easy and very fun to use what what i wish could be done to improve on the zp6 special you know what if they make a zp6 deluxe um well for one i wish they would just get rid of this kind of tacky easy presso branding on, on the rubberized sleeve maybe go for also like a wood veneer um, kind of texture to match the wooden knob I think that would be awesome and also I wish instead of doing a grind catch cup that has you you know twist and turn like this maybe go for a magnetic one just for the convenience of it because I've almost dropped this grinder a couple of times because, you know, coming from the Kinu M47, I now have to, you know, twist and turn. And if you do that in the morning while you're still groggy, I think the probability of dropping the grinder goes up exponentially. <laughs> or maybe that's just me because I'm clumsy. So if you're in the market for a filter optimized grinder, this is an easy, easy pick. 
Why? Because I don't think there's another hand grinder in the market that's as optimized for filter coffee such as this. So, if you're fairly certain that you don't really want to go into the world of espresso using a hand grinder, then this is great. Um, you get to clearly and sincerely taste the flavor notes that, uh, that the coffee roaster is trying to make you taste. And you know, for that reason, it's such an easy pick. I've been loving this grinder. Like my coffee experience day to day has been elevated because of this. And yeah, I'm super excited to keep using it and to keep learning how to use it better and better. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon.